Today's show is brought to you by Tula.com. Receive 20% off your entire purchase at www.trytula.com forward slash 313 live show. For you, the listeners of the 313 live show, Tula is offering an opportunity to receive 20% off your entire purchase at Tula.com. To receive 20% off your entire purchase, go to trytula.com forward slash 313 live show. Again, that's trytula.com forward slash 313 live show to receive 20% off your entire purchase. Detroit City on the runway. Ain't never gonna stop. What's up, though, Black? Episode what? Damn, is we have 40? I want to say we have 43. 43. Let, let me make sure we have 43 because last time... Oh, well, we I think it's 44. No, no, we have 40. I believe we have 43. I, I, I'm going to tell you in one minute where we had. I honestly I, believe we had episode 43 because last time we said the wrong episode. Good to be back. And, and, and Dre called me and was like, Dad, it's wrong. Oh, we episode 43, baby. You right. 43, 43 in the house, baby. Four and a three. Yes, it is. 43. Seven, good, y'all. Good, good, good to be in the house. Good if you got to die, set four three to bring you a six or eight. Right. Not the hard way, though. <laughs> or that four and that three right yeah, back. Yeah. So, yep, yep. So, though, this is the, you know what I want to say? This is, gonna be, this is the last show of the year we're going to record. And the reason why I say that is because, you know, next week we're going to run a probably, we may run the greatest hits. You know, some of the past shows and, you know, interviews that we did, you know, we might do that. Um, you know, because, you know, we might just take a break. All the pins, we might do that, we might not do that, you know. But this is the last show until January the 3rd. January 3rd, that's how uh, we're going to be back live. But next week, you know, we're going to run a, 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 a probably a, a greatest hits reel or some shit, you know. Some, the year that just us going back in time you know we live in our first you know first trials and tribulations in this podcast shit you know like what you think man yeah man no i'm just i'm just trying to be cool man i had a rough weekend rough weekend trying to be cool but that sounds great i'm looking forward to it i'm looking forward to today talking about what is going on in the world as we know it of december 20th 2016. Let's talk about our president elect Donald Trump. This motherfucker cannot find nobody. He's officially the president. Yeah, he's he's officially he's still president elect until the twentieth of January. He cannot find nobody that's willing to perform and open up for him at his inauguration ball. Why is that? You know what? I don't understand what is going on. They is really rebelling against this guy, man. They don't. (laughs) <laughs> Nobody likes him, but he's hey, there. He, he's and there. Is, this yes. is wild, man, because Donald is not... I don't understand. He's just an angry man, and he just went all the way. Right. He's not an angry man. He's a bitter man. He, he went all the way bitter. with this thing, man. He know he don't want to be president to no, begin with. No, he really don't. What it was, and like Danny he asked... He's doing everything uh, crazy. Like what Danny said. Danny said that... And, and I, I can agree probably with it on this, but that he said that... um. She said that he wanted to go and run. He wasn't intending on winning and getting this far. He just wanted to say, hey, I, I'm, I'm good at doing that, and I did it. And, and, you know, pretty much that's what he was going for. But he fucked around and ended up winning. And, you know, honestly, I think that we're going to go to World War, World War Three under his belt. I, I really? think that, yeah, because you know he's fucking up already. He's doing dumb shit. And he's not even in office yet. Like China, 
them motherfuckers, they plot and they finna do some shit. I'm glad we live in Detroit and we don't. They going when they attack America, right? This the main one of the main bases though. Detroit, yeah. we got yeah. them waters, bro. Right, but, but, right. Sites. but listen, they gonna come through here. They, no, they gonna go to where the people are, like New York, California, in Vegas, in Miami. Those are gonna be one of those cities that they're gonna hit. Mm-hmm. So. Family, man. I'm 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 happy I'm in Michigan. <laughs> no, it ain't gonna do nothing, bro. But you know this, you it's know, gonna be, it ain't gonna be as bad as everybody thinks. You know, you don't think it's gonna be that bad. No, I, I think no, it's no. it's going down. It's going down quicker than a hoe in a five dollar crack spot giving head. You best believe that, brother, <laughs> for real. You I'm know, too optimistic. I, I used to, you know, that used to be my term <laughs> in the street right then. Hey, bruh, it's going down quicker than a hoe in a five dollar crack spot. Got to face realities on this one, huh? Yeah, it's face reality. It's over mm-hmm. with. It's going mm-hmm. down. And you, and you know, one thing I love about white America, ka ka ka. You love something about them? I love this them. Is well, new. This what is I love new. about I love to hear what you. Love, what I love about I white America, ka ka ka, is. <laughs> Them motherfuckers is okay, um white privilege. Okay. Now, you had a, a classy woman such as Michelle Obama, first lady, wanted to see the kids healthy in school, gave them a healthier meal plan for lunch, right? Mm. White people hated that. White people called her um a, a gorilla in high heels and said she was ugly, said she was fat. I don't see nothing fat on Michelle Obama but her ass. Excuse me, President um, Barack Obama. That was not with no disrespect. That was in respect and giving her a compliment. That's the only thing I see fat <laughs> on her. And, um, that boy crazy. You know, and, and, and they hated her for, for no reason, no apparent reason. Called her ugly and everything, right? Mm-hmm. But now we got this new bitch. I don't call women bitches, but I'm gonna call nah. the pre- I'm calling the new first lady a bitch. And white America ka, 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 might be mad. I don't give a fuck. Y'all can suck my dick, eat my or uh, eat a dick. I don't, ain't gonna tell you suck my dick, eat a dick. White America ka, 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 These motherfuckers. Oh, we got a lady with class back in the White House. Where in the now? Where it's cool. Now they say this right. Mm-hmm. This bitch is a hoe. A high-priced hooker. High-priced hoe. So, are you saying there are no classy hoes? I disagree. That hoe is not classy. I'm just saying, say, okay. say her. That hoe is not classy. Because... M- Melina or Melina Trump, that bitch is not classy. That hoe is a hoe. Okay, we got to look at our, our first lady is a fucking porn star bitch who's actually been in, in porn magazines, uh, porn movies, how you think Donald Trump met this bitch? Wait a minute now. You ain't you ain't see the bitch posing naked? Yes. Okay, you ain't see this bitch in the bed with another woman? What? Yes. Man, the wow. followers is out there. Come on. And wow, you know, wow, wow. And, this and, is deep, bro. <laughs> it's deep. <laughs> yes, it is. Now, I this said that deep. I would not call... I just thought it was some pictures. I didn't know this. No, deep. I said I would not call no woman no bitch, but this is not a woman. This is a hoe. So, I can... um fall back because she's a hoe. So... Uh, and mm-hmm. Uh-huh. I hear you. No, you know, finish. But finish, yeah, finish, White America ka ka embraces this shit. See, White America ka ka loves entertainment. Entertainment. Amer- you know what? Like I said, um, what's his name? If Elvis Presley or John Wayne was still living, right? And they ran for president, them... Racist backwood motherfuckers that voted for Trump will put will, 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 will put them in office. Let me say this about Elvis oh, Presley. Oh yeah. Let me say this about Elvis Presley. Elvis Presley. And let me say this about John Wayne. Fuck Elvis Presley. He can suck my dick. What he meant to you, I can give a fuck less. Um, John Wayne is a fucking racist motherfucker. Fuck him too, and I hope he's rolling over in hell somewhere. How did Michael get with Priscilla? And what was his daughter's name? Priscilla Presley. I know she's still alive. Yeah, Priscilla? Michael was fucking. They wasn't fucking. They was just Michael used her because he was going through the child um, pornography thing. Uh huh. So, what you do? Mike was smart. He used this bra. Okay, I'm gonna marry I remember her. Remember that kiss he gave her too. That remember shit, the kiss on the shit, wall. That shit was so <laughs> fake. They uh, one of the people at the MTV Awards. They was talking about <laughs> Michael. 
<laughs> practice kissing a mannequin oh, backstage. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Allegedly, he did this, but this is what. But they pulled they that say, same yeah, stunt they, off later yeah. with uh, Queen Latifah. They pulled she it was off. Aggressive with hers though. Yeah, with no faking. No faking for sure. Grab but that um. <laughs> <laughs> but Put now, them big old lips all over him. Okay, say so yeah. When we do some shit, right? All the time. White America ca, 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 ain't cool with that shit. Not ever. But when they do the shit, oh, it's cool. Off time. Oh, why don't y'all just get over it? And this, well, bitch, when we was telling y'all to get over it, what was the problem? You know what I'm saying? What was the problem? What is this gonna look like what for is it? America? Well, America right now, we the fucking laughing stock it's of laughing the world. All over the world. They, they laughing all over at us, man, for real. They are laughing. You know what? We took they, we they done Russia. We done took one. We done took one for America has taken <laughs> one for the team big time. <laughs> how y'all get how Russia uh got something to do with the election, man, and y'all telling people. This is uh, horrible. It's, it's horrible, but this is just what what's going on, and this is this Russia is, out of all people. Russia <laughs> out of all people. Yeah. They're, they're they're talking, man. They, they you know, big the United States of America election. Election. You know what? And wow. I gotta say, and I got to say the this. Computers. I'm gonna say this, bro. Bad motherfuckers, boy. Computers are a bad motherfucker, but I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. Our homeboy, who Barack. Obama. Cool. Cool motherfucker. Barack cool. Is cool. Cooler than the fam. Now let me tell you this, right? Barack is cool. Let me tell you about, about Barack. Now y'all y'all can go Shit. trip out when I tell you this, right? Barack had fucking the Navy Six, the Navy SEAL Six team or whatever them motherfuckers is. He had them going in, flying over on their way to kill Bin Laden, right? Mm-hmm. While he was at a function, a luncheon, a dinner, and playing rounds of golf, looking cool than a motherfucker, right? While the hit Ca- on. Caught him in the back. And the Puffin, hit was on. Yep, caught him. And the hit was already on. See, that's how black people, we smooth. <laughs> we smooth with our shit, right? <laughs> but Rock didn't even tell. He didn't even mention to the... Uh, to nobody, that not boy, even the Republicans. Man, that was cool. Not even the Republicans. He didn't even tell them a goddamn thing, right? Just his cabinet. Or and kept it in clothes, clothes, right? Caught him in the back, right? Puffing on a Newport, right? Mm-hmm. Smooth in a motherfucker, dog. Yeah, because you got to put the weed in the Newport look at, cigarettes. Look at like a pimp. That's how they do it. They, <laughs> they put the weed in the Newport right. thing. All so, the presidents do it. So Barack was looking smooth in a motherfucker, uh-huh. right? Not nervous, not nothing, right? Mm-mm. The Navy Six, the um, the SEAL, whatever, Navy See, SEAL, yeah, they, came six, in. they went in. Shot this motherfucker Ben Laden in the face and killed him. Grabbed his body and and, and put him on the helicopter. Right, mm-hmm. brought him over here back to show the president we killed this motherfucker. Right after Obama seen that this was real, then he called the news conference and said, "Yeah, America, we got this motherfucker. We I killed." Mean, waking him. up, I, I remember. So check game, Pete move. All of the motherfucking Republicans was mad because they couldn't man though. Yeah, because they, they wanted to get listen, him. What they get mad for? They couldn't catch Ben Laden, right? America, the white America, ca, 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 couldn't catch Ben Laden, right? Bush had so, too much to do. Yeah, Bush had too much to do with it. Too much. So, too much. When Barack called him, it was a problem. This nigga called him, so they was mad, but they had to be ecstatic and show him, well, we happy, we for you, whoop, whoop, this, whoop, whoop, that, I right? Because now all of the white America, ca, ca, motherfuckers was sucking um, Barack's dick. Because mm. he killed Bin Laden, right? Right. He was the motherfucking man. All, every but, white motherfucker that said something wrong about him was sucking his dick. But the thing is, too. What's that now? He said, we got some shit. For yeah. Russia. We got some shit for Russia. He say, some so, of this shit gonna be public. Yeah, check, some of this shit ain't. <laughs> but but right. Motherfucker got the answer. Look, but Barack, I get up out of here. Obama is gonna <laughs> fuck Russia up <laughs> in some kind of way and check game P move. What I love about this shit, Who right? Who the fuck up? He got that check, nigga listen. from Chicago on his head. Check, hey. Listen, check game P move, right? They mad. Obama... Send back cooling. Know this, he got less than a month to go in office, right? Less than a month. 
<laughs> Less than a month. Crazy, and he man. already got his boys on Russia right now. You know what I'm saying? Now, tell me, let me tell you about black people. The, the smooth black motherfuckers like myself, Barack Obama, and like yourself, though, black, and many other smooth black motherfuckers, right? Man, we never expose our hand when we do some dirt, right? Never. Never expose our hand. Do you know how many black motherfuckers... Gotta be ready to cover up. Do you know how many black motherfuckers walking around in the streets right now that got about five or six murders under their belt because they went and did the shit by themselves and never told nobody about it? Did they dirt by they lonely? And walking around this motherfucker smooth, cool, and the, the murders is unsolved. No, because they don't talk about it. Goddamn and right. And we don't talk and about it at goddamn all. Goddamn right. So everybody's getting it long, Fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, hey, shout out, to the, shout out to the brothers when they go commit a crime and do they dirt. They do it by the motherfucker self. I salute you, boys, and I salute you, young ladies, who do that. When you go commit a crime, you do that shit by yourself. Do not never take a motherfucker with you because hey. the other motherfucker going to get mad and going to snitch on you. What I don't like is dudes that tell they women, baby mamas, everything. Not knowing that when how many dudes you know that told they girl everything and then when he cheated on her with his dumb ass, right? Uh, I'm that guy. Everything when it told everything to the cops. <laughs> That guy, you that guy, <laughs> you that, 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 look at him, world. Or oh, you're that guy, though, black. <laughs> no, nah, man, no, nah, I'm just joking, man. Just joking. But this is what I'm saying about uh, Barack, too. What's up? Because Chicago, when they go gangster, they go gangster a little different, yes, sir. Because they ready to kill little MA, yes, sir. Because she's talking about that smoke Tuki, yeah, and smoke Tuki ain't no weed, it's a game banger. What? And so, Tell me yeah. more about that. Oh yeah. So they put it. They all going crazy about that. Over Chicago said that she got an answer for that. Oh, you see how they did Rick Ross. Rick Ross and Rick Ross got it too. Yeah, from the from the uh, the GDs, the Gangsters Disciples. Oh, what? How did he mess with them? He Man, he uh, them he too. was disrespect using their name. You know what I'm saying? So um, those GDs. You know, they, they made... Shout out they, to Don here. GD came they, down they, here. They, they made some motherfucking noise and videos like that nigga got to pay. He got to pay for that shit. You know what I'm saying? So... Uh, serious. This, this shit is wild. All over. Oh. So, we'll see what happens, man. Yeah, yeah, we will see what happens, but um, sh this shit is wild out here. Fam. World War III. Um, Russia. Russia. All of it is wild. Nah. <laughs> nah, man. Let's go um, into, uh, we, you know, we done did enough talking about Trump, his hoe, um, and everything else about that. You know, we're going to keep this show kind of short today <laughs> because, um, you know, like I said, we want, you know, this is the last show of the, of the year, the 313 Live show okay. us, you know, so y'all won't see us 2017, January the 3rd. No, Get what those you, shirts. That's right. Oh, the shirts is the shirts. We're going to have the shirts when we come back. We're going to have our shirts. So, though. What about? What you doing for the holiday, man? What are you going to do? Ooh, baby, come home for the holiday. Yay. Yeah, Ooh. that's what I'm, I'm, I'm praying, man. That baby, come back. Baby, come back. <laughs> You know, I, I mess up a week, bro. You mess up a week, bro. A week gets worse and worse. It gets worse and worse. <laughs> It get worse and worse, man. So I don't know. Man, you gotta get it together, though, Black. I'm gonna do the Kobe Bryant this week. You gonna do the Kobe Bryant? Yeah, come with the ring. Young players gotta get it together. Yeah. Okay, brother. Other than that, man, I'm gonna be enjoying Christmas with my sister and my nephew and the rest of the family. Okay. Mm -hmm. What about yourself? Well, I'm gonna be working on the show and doing a little. Um, Stuff with the the MacBook Pro and I'm um, setting up the new um system we got, you know, and getting that ready. So when we come back, man. you know, you working? Yeah, I'm always working. Don't this what you gotta do? Man, you working? Yo, oh, let, me tell you, let me tell you something, though. Oh. You gotta work. You got to. Bah hung bah. You. Man, you got to. holiday, man. You got to, man. You got to, bro. Working it's Jesus' hard. birthday. That's what they say. Oh, <laughs> here we go. 
though. That's what they say. I don't know. People I could be say, wrong, you know? People say Prince smell like lavender, dog. Real life, they niggas smell like lavender. Who? Prince. Prince? Smell like lavender. Yeah, maybe Prince wore lavender shit. They say you smell the lavender, then you look around and be like, yo, Prince. Prince. That shit crazy. I'm just... Man, I was fucking smell like lavender, dog. Man, God, God rest Prince. You yeah, know, Prince man. was Prince was our boy. Um, we lost him this year. Yeah, yeah we lost Prince two thousand and sixteen. Yeah, man, that's fucked up. Yeah, man, I was mad than the motherfucker when they said Prince was gone. But Tupac, Tupac made it to the Hall of Fame, didn't he? Tupac in the Hall of Fame. I told you, motherfuckers, Tupac was gonna make it into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. I'm mad that he's there. Yeah, he's there. I'm mad that he didn't make it there. Before NWA, mm. but NWA, seeing the NWA mm. is there, and Easy E got his spot where he's deserved. You know, my thing is what I hate about people; they're not showing Easy E the respect that he deserved because he didn't get murdered because he died of AIDS. Uh, you know, so they don't show him the respect that I feel that he deserved. He deserved more credit and respect, even though Ice T was the first. Gangster rapper on the West Coast. But he wasn't the first gangster rapper. You know who the very first gangster rapper was? Uh, can we go with Ice-T? On the West Coast only. You said only on the West Coast? Yeah, he was on the West Coast. Um, I forgot the cool, um, the kid's name. He's an East Coast cat from Philly. And um, he made a, a song called um, PSK or something like that. Uh I forgot the kid. I forgot the kid's name, but that's where Ice T said six in the morning came from. Mm. Listening to that guy, so he was actually the first rapper. I know Big used his song on um, B I G making that cream. Uh, one, you know, you it's know on the that, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, that that we ain't, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, Big, yeah, yeah boy, Big, Big used that. Song, so. so um. If you don't know the lyrics, please don't. I, I know the lyrics, but I don't want to, you know. Biggest small. I don't want to. What's the name? I don't want to be um, hit with the copyright infringement law. <laughs> you know how yeah, that go. Coming in seventeen. Yeah, we don't want to hit that. You got, know, in got, the month, the money is starting to come roll in the way we wanted to roll in, so we don't want to do that. Boom, boom, boom. We got some. Um, things happening in yeah. 2017 coming on, up in this world. Check this out. I'm on Periscope right now. Somebody asked, are we radio? No, we're not radio. We're podcast. Oh, we radio. Oh, oh, oh we're just, okay. Oh, it's we're, podcast we're, radio. We're, we're podcast radio. We're in Internet 40 radio. countries. Yes, we know. We're in 50 countries. 50 better, countries? better recount that, brother. Recount Damn, that. We, we, 50 countries man. overseas. How many states? We got 49 states. 49 in, states. Except one. We except don't have one. that one. Yep, so... Yeah. Welcome to the 313 Live Show. What you want to do? Man, what I want to do... Oh, man, it's so next, much Hey, The next chapter of the 313 Live Show. We got gonna, uh, clothing. Mm-hmm. We, we, we finna do some things. Management. Management, yes. Mm-hmm. Clothing, mm-hmm. management. See, we already done figured out how to make this show work. Yes, sir. So I guess we all about the paper in 217. Oh, man. <laughs> yes, Y'all going to see the charm. I'm getting the charm <laughs> with the logo. I have my chain out the layaway. It's going to be hey, that. Hey, y'all. <sighs> check this out, y'all. We got a new girl already got me a watch. Yeah, nice watch. I like yeah, that. Yeah, shit. Let, let me tell them about one of the new yeah, segments. Watch, Look, y'all. Shit. In 2017, y'all, we going to... um. Segment the show, segment it a little bit more better. We're gonna have weekly segments, the same, you know, segments, just different topics every week. Um, yeah, one of our yeah. new one topic that we're gonna bring up is we're gonna have the rat trap. <laughs> That's the new segment. Mm-hmm. Now, let me explain mm-hmm. what the rat mm-hmm. trap is, right? The rat trap is the crew here at the 313 Live show and the staff. What we're gonna do is we're gonna create fake social media pages, right? And we're going to put pictures up. And we're going to get the thirstiest males and thirstiest females, right? We're going to put them, we're going to reel them in with conversation. Yeah, after that, fish. no, we don't catfish them, but after we get them in with the text message and this shit, right? Mm-hmm. Through the through the site, mm-hmm. then we're going to swap phone numbers with them, right? Mm-hmm. 
call him up. Mm-hmm. Talk shit to him, but we're going to record it live. We're going to see. But first, we're going we gonna to get him real thirsty, you know, the thirsty ones. Mm-hmm. And we're going to bust their ass out and put them on the show and go expose them on the show. <laughs> <laughs> let's do it. So, let's do it. That could be, hey, that might be somebody's girl or might be somebody's guy. This is going to be exposed. This is what we do. And this is how we do it in the 313 yeah. Live show, brother. Busting on your ears. Busting. And you know, we're going to have, we're going to have um, every week. So, all you artists out there, song of the week. We're going to play one song, maybe two. No, we're going to go one song a week, right? And that'll be the song of the week of the show. So if you got some hot music and your shit is on Google Play, iTunes, wherever the digital site is to be how you, your shit downloaded, hit us up at the313liveshow at gmail.com. Once again, the313liveshow at gmail.com. Sub- submit your song along with your um, information, contact information, and we will get the song on the show and, you know, get you going. You know, no, 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 no. You was talking about some. Did we mention the inaugural thing with Trump, or did we done with Trump? I think you can go okay, back to no, Trump. We talked about that. We talked, we talked about, about it. But if you you yeah, miss something, you miss something. Bring it back, baby. Bring it back. I'm just making sure that we we spoke about that because I just want to see who the guy is going to be that does this and what's going to happen. Ah, uh, no one's gonna. Ex- Gonna do that. I'm sorry, brother. He's he's fucked in the game. That's, he ain't gonna have no happen. performance, man. Well, at the last minute, some <laughs> asshole is gonna come out and perform. Okay. Some asshole. Who you think it? Okay, I don't know. I think it's gonna be Kanye West. I think yo, I give it to Kid Rock. Uh, Kid Rock is dumb enough to do it. He used to be gangster. Remember that? Uh, Kid Rock was never gangster. In the beginning, he was kind of gangster, man. You know, <laughs> I gangster never like gangster. Not like I, I never looked at him as being a gangster. Oh, uh, he was know. cool at first. You he know, like what? Kid Rock. Then he tripped on us. Kid Rock was cool, but then you know yeah. he showed his true colors after a while. Yeah, you know what I'm did. saying? Like yeah. most. White America, ka 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 does. I'm not saying the kid Rock is a racist, you know. Mm-hmm. No, he's not a racist because he has a black son. Mm-mm, he no, fucks he black women, crazy. and he got a lot of black friends. So, he, yeah, he just fucking crazy. He just fucking crazy. Fucking you crazy. get to talking that. Yeah, he get to talking that I crazy love shit. And all that and shit. You get to yeah. looking like, what the fuck is wrong with you, kid Rock? Remind me of that one guy, man, Skinner. Skinner uh, or that uh, motherfucking Crazy. Ted Nugent. Yeah, Nuke. Ted Nugent. Ted yeah, Nugent, faggot ass, yeah, yeah. bitch. Ted Nugent. Yeah. Ted Nugent, Nugent, yeah. uh, Nugent, whatever the fuck he is. He need to shave that shit off his lip. Look like somebody guns. had their balls in, on his chin and Ted shit. Ted got them guns, don't he? Nigga, everybody got guns. Uh, Ted, got, Ted so got something to do with that real big. You got though. guns, I got guns. Everybody he, got what guns. What is thing so, is that... NRA. It's a NRA. It's okay, all about okay. who can get to their gun the quickest the and who quickest. ever use that motherfucker. I done seen niggas get killed and had their gun on them, so that shit don't don't matter. I done seen niggas get robbed with their gun on them and get robbed for their gun. Hey, real, <laughs> so, real, real, yes sir. Did that dude get that lady pregnant uh, that we talked about last week? Uh, mm. In the shitty house. In the shitty house. No, he didn't get a pregnant. Oh, man. shit. You know, shout out people. New York has really been tuned in uh, so that I got a lot of people it's talking that New York. about... Still <laughs> niggas had to put... <laughs> oh, mm, niggas was mm. talking to us about that, yo. For yeah, real. That, that shit was... I live. heard she got pregnant, yo. You heard she got Your pregnant? Your son. Your son. I heard she got you pregnant, You heard she got son. pregnant, son. Yo, kid. Kid, he busts all in her kids. He like, bust, I, don't know. He, I don't know how y'all talking about it. He bust in her dog. Yeah, them boys. Man. You gotta be careful, man. Everybody's oh, shit. People language. Let's, I'm gonna, let's go live on, uh, hmm. they got the new shit on, uh, what's her name? What? Facebook, I mean, Instagram Live. And I'm finna start live on Instagram right now as we go. They got Instagram, Instagram Live. Instagram Live. This shit is live, yo, for oh, real. Oh, Instagram Live. See, I they, am now live on Instagram, ladies and gentlemen. But you Listen, know what? Check me out if y'all want to follow me, because we're going to start going live every week on Instagram, and it's going to be called... Um, follow me on Instagram, Rail that guy 313 Once again, Rail that guy 313 Follow me, follow me. And you can see some pictures and shit and some old videos yeah. of me sitting around at the crib doing shit, just chilling. You be cooking. 
Yeah, I cooks all the time, dog. You be cooking. Man, I like grills, man. Yeah. I ain't nothing like grilling. You be talking man. a little shit, too. Yeah, sir. And video games. You know, mm, you, can catch, yeah, me on yeah, P- yeah. you can catch me on PS4, mm. Rail 74. That's once again, Rail 74. Shout out to my boy, Mike Payne. Mike Payne is following me right now. He's watching me live on... um. On Instagram Live, y'all gotta go check Instagram out Instagram Live. Mike, Mike Payne is a beast, y'all. He's uh he was on the show a past while ago, and he's a straight beast on that microphone, man. So, uh, damn though, this is a whole new year is is gone. You know, it's on the way in uh, 2016. That shit seemed like just yesterday. Shit is moving so fast. Yeah, man. I know. That's awesome, too. Yeah, it's, it's a great time to be alive. Yeah, 2016. You know the best years were the 80s, man. The 80s and no. the 90s. Shit. <laughs> 80s with all the, the cocaine was know, in this motherfucker. Man, you know, the 80s was great, man. I, came, I was born in 74, so the 80s were great. It was nice. That was nice. Yes, yes. The 90s was even cooler. The 90s was cool, man. I got a lot of pussy in the 90s. What about you, sir? I'm still banging chicks. You still banging chicks? (laughs) 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 Yes, sir. (laughs) You still banging. (laughs) Sir, are you... Are you... Wait, wait, wait a minute. uh, Are are you banging raw dog or are you you strapping it up, sir? (laughs) Unfortunately, strapping. You're strapping. Yeah, unfortunately, I have to. You have to strap up, yeah, man, though. I think that's just serious. I got HIVs in my immediate families and oh, things man. like that. So okay. I live with these things. So I'm kind of like scared. Scared of it, sir. Yep. Yes, sir. But I remember the times when I was brave. <laughs> <laughs> You used to be brave, sir. I used to be brave. Braver than Wake a motherfucker. Man, that man. You got it maybe up in here. I get a little, I get a little, I get a little explicit, but y'all know where I was going with that. Yes, sir. Explicit, explicit content, explicit lyrics. <laughs> hey, y'all, check this out. If y'all want to see what our t shirts look like and our hoodies, Go follow us on we on Facebook. Dude. What's up, bro? Oh, let, let me give him the Facebook information. Okay, follow give us, it to him. Facebook. Follow the show and like the sh- like the page. It's the three one three live show on You're not podcast. Gonna like it, though. Once again, the three one three live show on podcast. A lot of people been liking it, bro. And, and and also hit me on Instagram and there see the shirts on my Instagram. Follow me. You be getting real likes. Real that guy three one three, huh? You be getting a lot of likes Hell on yeah. it? Hell yeah. Man, I woke up one day. I posted the t-shirts. Uh-huh. About 11.30 that night, 12 o'clock. Uh-huh. I woke up 6, to, six in the morning. I had 150 likes. I got some fake-ass friends on my page. They don't <laughs> never like nothing positive. They like the t-shirts. That was positive. They didn't hit none of the like button. <laughs> <laughs> Anytime I, I, I put something positive up there, even if it's about God or anything, they don't never like it. I don't. I don't think you be on your social media. Enough, man, I'm gonna go and check again. You got to start, man. You see how I be all over my social media. You got to be they, on social but media. But they, but they go. But when I walk up to them in the street, they'll be like, "Yo, let me get a shirt." Like, why you yeah. didn't hit the like button? There you go. That's oh. how I go. That oh, is how it go, bro. I only hit gangster shit. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, shout out to um, Danny Braggs. Danny, she um of the. Host of the Something to Brag About podcast. She graduated, bro. Um, this past I want to say it was Saturday. I she, seen her. She got a master's degree, bro. No man, that's good. Yeah, that's damn good. I'm always hitting up pay. Yeah, man. She was. I'm proud of her, dog. She's until I see a until I see a hugged up with somebody that I can stop. <laughs> <laughs> Hey man, I'm proud of that well, young lady, bro. She did the damn thing, dog. She did that last year, the same time last year. My son, he graduated from the same college, EMU. Is he coming home for the holiday? Oh, Dre here already. You know, oh, Dre's here. Dre she here. came in today. That'd yeah, nice. Dre, Dre's turned here. Turned up. Yeah, he'll be on. Um, you know, he'll do something. We are gonna record some before he leave. We'll have it in the vault, shit like that. All mm-hmm. to be good. So you know how we do. What's up to my brother Sam? Just talking with Sam. How you doing? Oh, yeah. Sam's cool, and, and we can't forget those cats out of Connecticut. 
Nope. The Life Cast Podcast. Those boys is on their shit. I Jules like them almost, boys. Jews almost went off into the goddamn hurricane, didn't he? Yeah, yeah we Jules, almost lost Jews. We almost lost Jules the Juice, but Jules the Juice is right here, bro. He ain't going nowhere. Uh-uh. Everything is good. Shout out to the 313 Tatted SS BBW. She joined the live chat right now and you know what's going on with you. I'll be seeing her. She be having some sexy ass pictures and shit, bro. About she, what? Just of her, period. She just be on there like sometimes titties be cleavage. You be seeing cleavage, not titties. Uh-huh. Let me take that back. The live audience uh-huh. is hearing like, I'm going to go follow her. So let me tell y'all her name. It is 3 1. Hold on. Let me, let me get a is comment from her. Do you mind if I call out your. Um, social media page to my podcast audience because no, no, you know no, no, no. Hold on, dude, she's saying thank you because I'm giving a compliment she's putting it out there yeah, I'm a, you know she might want to no, be seen by man. everybody so I'm, I'm, that's why I'm asking her before I do it and no. she she said um, do no, you want I'm me good, I'm good go ahead she yeah, said go yeah, ahead yeah, okay go podcast ahead. audience y'all my, can y'all Let's, can y'all, y'all can be her friend she a hot one. Yeah, she's hot. She hot. Yes. 313 underscore tatted. That's spelled T-A-T-T-E-D underscore S-S-B-B-W. Oh. Yes. She got a Pornhub uh, page, don't she? Pornhub? No, I don't know. Do you got a Pornhub page? The comedian <laughs> and co- co-host said, do you have a Pornhub? I think I seen <laughs> this name, huh? In a description, uh, I don't think it was oh, her. Okay. All right, but she like a church girl, you know. She she, she said no. She oh. like you know one of them little freaky church girls, you know. They they quiet Man, and look you innocent, hell, you know. Like, what I'm saying, mm, no. <laughs> but she cool. I, I like her. All she right. you know she likes the shit. She likes t shirts and everything. But um, all right. All right, yeah, yay. Yeah. So go follow her, people. All she's right. Happy cool. Mother's Day. Well, I'll talk she, to you. She's cool, people. And um, I guarantee you, y'all gonna like her pictures and everything. And you know, she's she's good people from what I see. And I want to put her on the show one day. So you're gonna have to inbox me your information so I can get you on the show because I want to promote what you're doing and get my podcast audience involved in what you're doing and looking at your pictures or or whatever and stuff of that nature. But the mannequin challenge was hot this year. Fuck the mannequin challenge. <laughs> The man, it was a listen, niggas have went to jail for the mannequin challenge, this like year? them dumb motherfuckers in Alabama. That that song <laughs> made a lot of money. Gucci man, Gucci, and, and uh, that Ray Sharma. Yeah, they, they those were the, those were the songs money. they were playing through the mannequin challenge, right? The mm. boys got rich off of that one. Yes, they did. Now, nah, black. This is one thing I always wanted to say. Let me say this for the end of the 2016 year. Black people, mm-hmm. stop tearing up your shit. Stop tearing up your neighborhood. When a cop do some dumb shit or a white person do some dumb shit, don't get mad and tear up your community. Find out where that cop lives or find out where that city official live and go tear their shit up. And the reason why I say this is guarantee you this. If a cop do some dumb shit, right, and it's on videotape and you find out where he lives in his community and you go tear his community up, guess what? The motherfucking other cops will be ready to wash his ass up out of the neighborhood and get rid of his ass. That's how you get shit done. Don't tear your shit up. I I never understood why black people, we would go in. I'm not going to say we because I don't do that dumb shit. Go loot in our neighborhood, tear up the stores, and tear up everything in our community. It ain't just the black people. You said that right. Yeah, the black people it ain't just them. No, you know, no, the Mexicans no. and other yeah. people, white people that do the shit too. But go over to the suburbs, okay, and tear up where the cops don't live. There's a lot of stuff in the suburbs to tear up, though. That's the thing. It don't matter. Just tear the shit up. It, it be the, people's houses. Tear the shit up. Man, people's gonna <laughs> fucking shoot your ass. Hey, 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 tear they shit they up. Go tear up they go tear up they stores. Go you over there and do loot that in the suburbs. Brother it's impossible. Let me tell you that's something. That's why they call it the suburbs. They got that shit mapped out. They had a motherfucking navy, army, whoever them motherfuckers come to tell everybody be in the house at six o'clock down in the suburbs. If y'all ever think about some shit like that. <laughs> 
You better keep that shit in your neighborhood ghetto. No, don't. Or don't do it at all. Or you don't, all die. Don't tear the ghettos up. Tear yeah. the suburbs up. Yeah. That's you all I have to tell you is tear the suburbs up. Go tear their shit up. Don't tear your shit up. And um, I saw a video earlier today with this little young dumbass black kid on here, CJ something, right? And he said he he went in on Michelle Obama. This little young dumb duck bitch ass little kid. Go, he's man. about um, he get... he's a little motherfucker's about maybe thirteen. Oh, man. the youngest thirteen get, and views, man. maybe fifteen. Yeah, I think he got fucked in the ass. He looked no, like he's just he trying no, to get no, views. No, he like real. he no, he like he real, got fucked. No, serious, he like he got fucked in the ass. Um, once or twice. Um, in in his career in his time, um. He's a Donald <laughs> Trump supporter. He's black. And now uh, you know all the white people were loving what he had to say. That's cool. A couple of them wasn't liking what he had to say. But me personally, I couldn't take him serious. Little young dumb motherfucker, go to school, finish getting your education. I can't take you serious because you don't pay taxes. You don't work. You're not contributing contributing to society. So what should you you don't have a fucking voice? Shut the fuck up and go suck a dick. How did he get the plug? I don't. He's just on social media doing dumb shit. And shit then the everybody kids highlighted him. Yeah, and the the white people only. You know, white America, ca ca. And only. us. No, not us. We didn't highlight. I just had to give him a shout out and tell him to eat a dick. That's what I had to do. I'm gonna put a segment out. Eat a dick for everybody. I feel they should eat a dick. I'm gonna call them out. Eat a dick. That's gonna be a su- a segment. Eat it. I'm gonna, we're going to get two minutes to tell the motherfucker to eat a dick. You know? <laughs> this shit is crazy, bro. But, well, though, pretty much that's it. We're going to wrap up the show. It's, this is the shortest show we doing, bro. Oh, it's the end of the year. End of the year. That's so, what's up. You know what I mean? Podcast. Vacation time. It's vacation. We finna, we finna party. We finna get oh, down. Yeah. Go down. We finna get down to party. All I got to say is podcast. We what will be back. Home, what well, me, I'm going to always be on my Instagram live, so y'all can catch me on Instagram live. Real that guy 313. I'm a real Follow nigga, me. man. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a real I'm a nigga, real too. Nigga, nigga, man. what you I'm saying, on nigga? Computer, yo, yo, unless I'm getting yo. ready to uh, text thug, nigga. Your text thug? <laughs> <laughs> Other than that, I don't even fuck with that shit. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, people, go follow our page also on Facebook, the three one three live show on podcast. On podcast. Hit me up. I'm also on Twitter as that underscore guy underscore rail. Once again, that underscore guy underscore rail. Um, the page on Facebook is the three one three live show on podcast. Or you can follow me live and direct on my personal Facebook page is Terrell Foster. And you will see in quotations that guy real, and that's me. Follow me there, and I'm gonna be doing shit on my page as well. Do what you're doing. Tell them where to find you at before we get up out of here, bruh. Comedian Dorian Black mm-hmm. on Instagram, peoples, mm-hmm. and Facebook mm-hmm. Dorian Black. Mm-hmm. Just look for some cold ass shit that remind you of me, and that'll be me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's peace out. Peace out, ladies and gentlemen. We'll fuck with y'all. We will be back live in full effect June the 3rd. Not me, damn, I'm talking about June. January January the 3rd. We're going to take next week off, but we're going to rerun some skits of 2016. Mama, come back home. (laughs) And we out of here. Peace and love. (laughs) Check y'all out. Oh, he's begging his mama to come back home. And when we say mama. Every week. He's talking about his girl. Every week, y'all. Say something to her, though, because you know she listens to the show. Mama, come back home. God made you good. God made you beautiful. And, oh, God, I wish I could. Peace, podcast. We'll see you in 2017. We out.